A long time. I've been waiting a long time. Happy it came yesterday. Mad we didn't get the win, but glad I got my first one. Um, we're playing pretty good. It's a little areas we can clean up, but we're playing pretty good. But we got to get the win somehow, some way. We got to come out and try to get another turnover or, or anything. We just got to get in the end zone. We haven't gotten the end zone all year on defense, so that's one of the goals. Not just take the ball away, but get in the end zone. You were a, a large part of the pass rush a lot yesterday in some instances. Like, how, how did you feel in that role, and how do you feel you guys got to the backfield? Um, I feel like I did good. I feel like the team did good. Um, we just trust the t- um, coaching. I was just doing my job, and you know, we were just doing our jobs. So, yeah. What are some of those things that you said that you feel like y'all could do better? Um, like on third down, we get our third downs down more. Um, really third down, like money downs, we got to get off the field a lot more. It was one time, it was fourth and five. Um, we could have got off the field right there. Um, when it was fumble, get that turnover right there, get the offense more time to get the ball in the end zone to win the game. Just little stuff like that. Fourth down plays that they converted uh, yesterday, what, where did you see that, um, that probably went wrong for you guys? Here? Um, it was one play on fourth down. I know it was my pro- my fault because I took the cheese at fourth and five. And they threw a dig right behind me. But just got to just, – just the little things. You got to trust your keys and just do the little things right and we get off the field on those down. How, how much have you started to understand kind of the big picture of the defense and learning with Lovey on, on, on that? Oh, yeah. So I learned – I didn't learn a lot because – I'm a nickel. I'm the only nickel, and I'm with Lovey every day, all day, and he teaches me everything from all standpoints, safety, corner, linebackers. I know what everybody's doing. So when one person messes up, everybody knows who to look at. So it's getting pretty good. Everybody just playing together and just trusting the teammate. Is it just just a film kind of thing where you're learning each position, or does he want you sometimes in practice? I don't want you to see it from the other side. It's just like film. Sometimes at practice we'll switch in and out, but really film, just because you never know. Two guys go down that corner, I'll probably have to go to corner, or two guys go to safety, got to go to safety. So just got to be ready, try to help the team win. Coach burned you guys deep, and you haven't been giving up deep plays since then. What's what's been the difference uh, for a team partner? Because it's, it's just like we're playing tighter coverage. We're, everybody playing tighter. And then at the end of the day, if people can't go over the top on us, it's going to be hard to score against us because you're dinking and dumping all the way down the field. That's going to be tough because it gives us more opportunity to get the ball, take the ball away. All set, guys? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, they were in zero coverage, and uh, you know we ran a concept that honestly that wasn't the ball wasn't supposed to come to me. It was really designed to go to Nico, and uh, you know they were in zero zero coverage, and Tyrod just he really took a blind faith on me and just threw the ball to a spot where I was going to be, and we got in. What do you think overall about your rookie class, the contributions you've made? What do you expect from you guys from here on out? I think we've done a tremendous job, you know, so far just being professionals and learning under the vets and just trying to do our job to the best of our abilities and just be con- contributors to our team. And, uh, you know, I, the, I think the future for our, our rookie class is very bright. You know, we've all, our rookie class, have, all, all of us have pretty much played. We've contributed to the team. And I think we're just going to continue to get better. You're getting some third down chance for that touchdown there and the week before against the Titans, Nico there too. Is, is As young guys, are, how valuable are those opportunities in a game to progress? I mean, every opportunity that you get, especially as a young guy, is is valuable. Like, you have to take the the most, the, the biggest chance, or the, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, the you have to capitalize on your opportunities. So on third down, that's, that's my opportunity to keep the chains moving, to keep the offense rolling so we can go score. So, you know, being... Being able to have the coaches trust and go out there on third down, and you know they trust me to go make a play, that's a huge deal for me. 
inactive for most of the first half of the season, though. How would you compare kind of just the, the experience or, or learning with the live reps versus just learning? It's way different. I mean, when you're inactive, you know, you're just watching. You're just, you, you, like, you see how you see a team, you know, they run a couple stunts or whatever. They run a certain coverage, and you're like, oh, okay, I see that. Like, from the sideline, it's different. But on the field, when a team's disguising, you know, cover two, then they, they, they drop to cover one or whatever the situation is, it's, it's always a little bit faster. But, you know, getting those, that time to be inactive and really study and learn how to, you know, read coverages and just read zone, just everything, it's, it's helped a lot. You talked about having the coach's charge. What, what does that mean for you personally to have it so soon? Oh, it's a huge deal. I mean, I'm a rookie, you know, so just to be able to have that trust or this, you know, we have, what, six more games left? So... I think my opportunities are just going to continue to get big, bigger. So I'm excited, though. I'm happy that they, they trust me, to, especially on third down. Do you, know, you feel like that's part of your role? With, I mean, Nico, too, it seems like you guys can be matchup winners in situations. Is that the expectation for you? Yeah, I mean, that's the expectation for me. But also, you know, I, I don't. I want to be a guy that's a complete tight end. I want to be able to you know, play first, second, and third down. And, you know, they trust me in the run game, too, you know, on a power or a zone play. So I mean, yeah, that's 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 my role right now. But my expectations for myself is to be a, a three down tight end. Do you feel like you're growing in that area in the run game and oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, just getting the live reps and just in practice blocking the guys we have on our team, it's definitely helped me a lot. And I feel like I, you know, blocking wise, I've done pretty good up to this point. Touchdown that you described earlier, that you were talking about earlier, just making a play like that. What does that kind of do for your confidence? I mean, my confidence has been sky high since you know I've gotten on since I've gotten drafted, really. It's been sky high just because of the people that's in this building, you know, this, the support they give us. You know, Dylan Thompson and his staff, how much they've shown they trust us to, you know, just be professional. So, I mean, my confidence has been sky high. You guys are just now finally starting to see it. On that final drive, trying to get that first first down to get things going, I think it was the third and one, whenever y'all were trying to get that run. What, what happened through that sequence? And you know, I, don't even, I don't even know what you're talking about. I have to think. Uh, run play. Burkhead, you were in the backfield, I think, trying to get the first down, got stuff. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie to you, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, though. Okay. Well, you mentioned about blocking. How much, how important it is for you to get uh, stronger and add weight? What do you weigh right now? What would be ideal for you to be able to block the weight you want? My weight right now is 250, so I'm, I'm not getting no heavier than that. As long as I'm in the NFL, I won't be no heavier than 250, but definitely getting stronger. You know, Coach Mike, his his staff, that's that's what they, that's what they're doing right now to us. The rookie class, you know, we we lift more than everybody, so it's it's just a thing about getting bigger, getting stronger, continue to grow because, you know, as time passes, I'm gonna get a little older. I'm only 20 right now. I'm a little baby, but as time passes, you know, God bless me to have a long career. I, I got to be able to you know be strong and hold my ground. You mentioned Dylan Thompson earlier. How is what's been his role in kind of helping? You that's out? my guy, Dylan Thompson. I mean, he he just he really just like the overseer of our rookie class. You know, we always have meetings with him. He's always just making sure we're good. But even aside, you know, Dylan just doing his job. He's more so like a, a figure for us. You know, we we really we really look up to Dylan. You know, he helps us out with a lot. He always makes sure we're good emotionally, physically, mentally, everything. So I mean, his job is huge, and it's definitely you know helped me keep a positive mindset. Does he help you with coaching too, or is it more? Oh yeah, Dylan. Dylan played football, so Dylan knows his. You know, Dylan knows his football. Like he always, you know, throwing to Nico and Brandon on the sideline. Like his job is just to be like a just there for us, you know. And he he does a tremendous job at it. You talked about just last year you were a rookie. You were still in college, but playing a lot. You come in as a rookie, drafted, not expected to play a lot, and then you get in. Just that kind of that journey, what that emotion has been like. <laughs> That that journey, I mean, it's it's been it's been beautiful. That's the word I'll actually use for it. It's been beautiful because if I would have, you know, the Houston Texans, they drafted me, and they didn't throw me right into the fire. You know, like a lot of first round, second round guys, they they didn't throw me right into the fire and say go play. You know, I for me, I'll say I wasn't not that I wasn't comfortable, but I had to learn how to be a pro. It's, I had to learn how to watch Jordan because I had to I had to watch Pharrell Brown and Al Claire and Quiz and just all those guys. So it. I had to learn and learn how to be a pro. And once I got my feet wet and I learned what it takes to, to last in this league and to last in this league a long time, I was ready to go. And, they, and then the Texans saw it, the staff saw it. So they, they were just letting me loose. All set. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it, y'all.
Uh, it felt pretty good. Uh, it was good to get a chance to get back out there on the edge and, uh, you know, play. And uh felt like it was, you know, a pretty first, good first game for me and a lot to learn from. And uh, the only job is to get better, move forward. What was the conversation like uh, with the coaching staff? At what point did y'all make that decision and kind of take us through that? Uh, it, was, it was pretty much like an ongoing thing throughout the week. Um, I mean, I pretty much been preparing for this situation all season uh, throughout camp. Throughout the season, I've been getting multiple reps at uh, a lot of different positions. So uh, the coaches pretty much pre- prepared me to play any position on the offensive line so far this season. What are, cha- what are the challenges there, and, and how did you feel you handled the challenges that go with that? Uh, yeah, it was just pretty much getting used to you know playing back in space. And uh, I think I did a pretty good job. It's always stuff I feel like myself uh, that I can learn on and I can learn from. Uh, it's a couple of plays I wish I could, you know, been better for my team. Uh, but my job is to be better this upcoming week, and uh, that's my goal for this week. What do you feel best? What do you feel most comfortable? I know you've said before that you like that you like playing tackle, but mm-hmm. after doing both, you know, for a while now, which where do you feel best at? Uh, it's not really uh, like which one I feel better at um, because, I mean. I think I can be a, a great guard, but I also think I can be a great tackle for me. It's just putting the, the time in and each each one of them and uh, seeing which one fits me best uh, through the season, and I think that's uh, my goal. As a familiar. lineman, how do you think just all kind of the moving around affects your development, positively or negatively? Uh, for me, I really don't think it affects me at all, uh, to be honest, uh, because, I mean, I guess we, we all in, we in the NFL, uh, so... Everybody's good, uh, so like, I feel like I go against great guys inside and out, and uh, I've practiced both uh, throughout the season, throughout camp, throughout the off season. So uh, when it comes to my development, it's all about how I'm like what what work I'm putting in. Uh, so and then my coaches, you know, they're putting the work in with me and stuff like that. So as far as development, I feel like no matter if I was at guard or tackle this whole season. Each week, I feel like I've got better, so that's my goal is to continue to get better. So by the end of the season, um, I feel like I've I've made a, a jump. You talk about how this is a week to you know this has been kind of a year long thing preparing for that. I mean, how do you compartmentalize? Okay, this is left guard, this is left tackle, right tackle, with all the game plans shifting. Like, how do you compartmentalize and learn and know, you know, take how, how you do that? When it, that's a good question. When it comes to uh, game plan, I, I pretty much like, I mean, that comes a part of studying um, all the plays, all the positions, studying knowing what everyone's supposed to do. Um, I'm like, when it's comes to playbook wise, I'm pretty, like, I know my playbook pretty good. I'm pretty smart. But when it comes to technique, it's just really like putting the extra work in, maybe before or after practice or something like that. Um, trying to be able to switch it up, knowing that at any at any given time during the game, one person can go down, we might have to make a movement. That's so nice. So being prepared, prepared for that uh, that opportunity, and I think that's what got me to where I am right now. Uh, what was the feedback like from James Campen? And uh, looked like the analytics grades were high. What what did you think as far as the performance? What did it say to you about it? Uh, yeah, it's a, I told me I played pretty good, uh, pretty well. Um, that was my first game back. I played pretty good, um, but like I said, um, I want to play even better. Um, so my goal is always, you know, be the best I can be at every situation I do, uh, every game to get better. So uh, hopefully next week I can correct some of the things I need to correct, so I can be, be so I can be even better for my team. We're playing double teams, the left guard this, this season. Working with Lane yesterday, how 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 different was it at tackle working with him, and how'd y'all feel y'all did in those? Uh, for me and Lane, um, that, I think actually we did pretty good yesterday with double teams. Uh, it was good to have him beside me. Uh, you know, he's a vet. He's been playing this game for a long time, and I feel like we got our camaraderie pretty good uh, early on in the game yesterday. So I think uh, working with him was uh, a huge success for the offense, and I think it's only going to get better uh, with time. And you mentioned about compartmentalizing. Um, you know, when you switch positions and – do you do you have to like refresh or not? Like, how often can you switch and keep up and and, and progress up in position to position through a season? Uh, I think I can do it on a move at any time. To be honest, uh, it just it's flip of the switch. Uh, so uh, I think I've been doing it long enough to I'm, I'm used to it now. So uh, when I come into a game preparing uh, preparing for the game, I prepare myself to be able to move in any position at any time. You made the all rookie team playing half a season. How do you evaluate your current rookie class, especially considering you didn't have first and second round picks? 
uh, the, the working class for this season. Uh, I think it's uh, going to be it's going pretty good. Uh, I think I think it was last week a lot of guys asked me about Roy and stuff. So I think uh, I think he's he's been doing pretty good. Um, you know, I think we, even though Jimmy wasn't a part of our rookie class, uh, him coming in and stepping up at center, which is a huge role in this offense, I think he's learning and getting better each and every day. Uh, everybody knows how I feel about Davis. I think Davis has got a bright future behind him. So I think uh, the rookie class, uh, without having the first-round pick, I think our coaches, GM, everybody you know upstairs did a pretty good job picking up some great football players for the future. Good. Yep. Thanks, You're welcome.